When theologians think about God's love, they bring into the discussion all kinds of theological assumptions about not only God, but also creation. Some theologians bring into the conversation the notion that creation is rotten, depraved, we're bad people, and this whole ecosystem is really disordered and out of touch. And in those kinds of scenarios, they, and they usually talk about God's love as entirely self-sacrificial or agape. That is, God loves us despite how bad we are and how rotten creation is. Now, I personally think that creatures sometimes do do evil and that God sometimes loves us in spite of the bad things we do to one another and to the world. But I think God's love is more than just agape, more than just loving us in spite of the crap we sometimes do to each other. I also think God has a kind of eros love. That is, it looks at creation, it looks at us and finds something valuable, something beautiful, something worthwhile, a deep inherent dignity. And God says, that's excellent. That's awesome. That's amazing. I'm happy about that. I'm pleased. The idea that God could be pleased by looking at creation, again, is in some theologies anathema. But in my theology, in which creation has intrinsic value, we have reason to believe that God's love is not just agape, but this kind of eros. And while I could describe or talk about lots of other kinds of love, let me mention just one other one. Uh, what in uh, the Greek language is called philea, and is usually understood as brotherly love or solidarity. In my way of thinking and in my theology, God not only calls creatures like you and me to live lives of love, God actually needs our cooperation for the earth to flourish, for love to win. And that kind of cooperative, collaborative element between God and us is a kind of philea love. It's a brotherly love, or if you don't want the masculine language, some kind of friendship love. Uh, and that's, I think, not only just a feature of God's love, it's actually essential to who God is.